YouTube, Supercharged iOS here, and in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to fix one channel. Alright, now recently, everybody's been having problems with one channel. I'm going to show you just how to fix it. What you'll need is you'll need the XBMC Hub Wizard Edition so that you'll be able to get the XBMC Hub Maintenance Tool, which is right here. Now, if you want to just install the XBMC Hub Maintenance Tool from Mickey1234 or Mikey1234, whatever it's called, go ahead and install it from that one. But uh, I go ahead, I'd go ahead and do the XBMC Hub Maintenance or XBMC Hub Wizard Edition if I was you, because you get a lot more other useful stuff. So what you want to do is once you get this XBMC Hub Maintenance Tool installed, you just want to go to Fixes select that one and the first thing on the list as you can see it's been recently updated because of the errors that people have been having you want to select that one channel and when that it's going to prompt you you'll get a, a, a quick pop-up saying that you're going to be switched to uh, watch it uh, I watch it or something I watch it now ch I'm not exactly sure what website it is but uh, I think it's like let me watch it now ch or something like that when you see that message that's right that's what you need to see at that point you need to just get back out of this you can just start hitting you know go, go back on your backspace on your computer or either menu button or whatever it is on your Apple TV or other Android device whatever your back button is you just want to back out and you want to exit and if you, like I said, you need to reboot your XBMC at this point on Apple TV. I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Uh, on a Windows computer, you would have to select this option from your shutdown menu. When you would click on shutdown, a menu would pop up giving you the option to restart, reboot, power off, shutdown. You need to select reboot at that time. It will reboot your computer as well if, you, if you're using a computer to run your XBMC. Okay, so on Apple TV, if you have Neato TV installed to configure your third-party apps, or if you have the maintenance app, you can do it with either one. Uh, you need to use Neato TV, which is the easiest one. And if you don't have that installed, I'll put another link in the description. Just send a send a comment. I'll I'll respond to the comment, and I'll put a video response on how to add Neato TV to your Apple TV. Okay, so what you need to do is you need to go. I'm sorry, you need to first navigate over to manage and then you need to go to packages, select that and then when it opens you need to go to the bottom of the list which would be right there XBMC ATV2 for Apple TV2 on Apple TV you need to navigate to the right with your circular navigation icon buttons on your Apple TV remote and once you go to the right this menu will pop up you need to navigate down to restart low tide once you click that it will restart your the low tide or respring that at that exact add-on which is XBMC and once you do that on your Apple TV your one channel will be working again and I'll go ahead and give a demonstration of my one channel working to show you guys what it looks like when it's finished it's easier to do this on a Windows device a Windows PC or Mac because of the fact that you don't have to reboot, you don't have to exit out and reboot XBMC from another location. You can just reboot your XBMC from within it. You can't do that on Apple TV. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead on and launch our XBMC and I'm going to show you guys one channel working. Okay, I'm going to go right there, one channel, and launch it. I'll go over to TV shows. Alright, now I'll go down to most popular.
just try to get us something real quick something new something you know something that we can see it working there we go Big Bang Theory alright we'll go to the newest season and we'll go to the newest episode which is the love spell potential Now this will be interesting when I start this you'll notice that at the top of the screen you'll see a pop-up notification saying that it didn't start but it'll, it'll look like it's an error but you'll see that it does start and just get used to seeing that error for a little while but eventually some updates will come along you see the error message it didn't fail though it did start didn't it so Alright, we're not going to let too much of the uh, episode run because of copyright reasons. I'm just going to go ahead and back out. But you did see that it worked. I'll go ahead and start, start it up once again and show you that every time a video starts on one channel, you start streaming once again, you're going to see that at the bottom right hand corner, see that error saying that script failed. But it still starts up and it's going to work every time, no problem. This is Supercharged iOS. I just wanted to show you guys how to fix one channel, get that up and running. Please thumbs up and subscribe. See you guys in the next video. Peace.